So we are right here in piping and fitting section and let's cover piping. So what's the overall description? Well, you probably you know that they are used to transport fluids. You cannot do it alone. You require some fixed material that move the fluids. Typically they will be done by steel, but we're going to cover more materials. They have several sizing. And the important part right here is that they will have a dropping pressure. So we need pumps in order to counterbalance this dropping pressure. We got plenty of transport, either isothermal flow, adiabatic, and so on. So general, we got several sizes and schedule. Right here, we got schedule 40 and schedule 80, which are the most common ones. As you can see, they are, this is a little bit thinner. This is a little bit thicker. So what do the schedule means? Essentially is the thickness of the wall. So 40 is this thickness. The 80 schedule is of course twice. The inside diameter typically is the same for both pipes. But of course the external diameter will not be the same so it's important especially if you're going to do some calculations on heat transfer that of course you know that heat will be harder to cross the 80 schedule size than the 40 schedule size now let me review this right here pipe dimensions half an inch three fourth one inch two inch and so on back okay perfect now what type of materials do we have okay we already understand what are pipes they are typically long so the most common one will be steel typically used in the chemical industry but we also have copper ones those are used for natural gas maybe in home applications or more specific applications this is very expensive compared to traditional piping also we got plastics if the materials allows it we can use pvc or maybe even other types of plastics and ceramics we got ceramics right here ceramics are of interest maybe you remember there are even some uh, clay or of course more advanced ceramic materials so the importance on maintenance well they can break depending on the pressure they operate also if they get rust and so on uh, talking about rusting well this talks about the outside fluid if you have a pipe and you have it uh, exposed to the air or to water maybe ocean water or river water lake water and so on they will get uh, rusted because they have access to oxidation or corrosive materials mostly oxygen they can bend depending on the charge load maybe even because they are not well designed and leakage they will leak so one important part right here is that they will fall depending on the material let's say they are very viscous high density materials if you do not apply heat then or maybe let's say if you decrease the temperature they will start uh, let's say falling the tube or pipeline as you can see if this were solid then you have decreased almost by half the flow rate and the area decreases the cross-sectional area decreases by half therefore the velocity will increase drastically and some more photos on piping now many times I see students that tell me that this is a pipe well actually this is the covering or insulation material of a pipe that goes inside of course this is much more smaller let's say that this is a 10 inch size maybe inside there is a 2 inch pipe and so on and all this is covered by insulating material so we do not lose let's say we have 120 celsius degree right here you don't want to lose it all to the atmosphere let's say you don't want to if you let it alone it will go maybe up to 30 celsius but if you have insulating material maybe it goes from 120 to 110 and there is not that much loss if you need the temperature for further operations then you will not need a a heat exchanger and so on you have different sizes of course and also very important to consider that sometimes they are a duct what what are ducts essentially air flows through them more on piping system of pipings right here many times you might think these are not pipings but they are so here is an example of one piping this might be utility maybe even water atmospheric water one pressure and maybe just for uh, heat transfer operation and so on. Maybe you have a polymer here inside, maybe you have a mixture and so on. 
several systems on piping. They can go either to in the bottom or top of the industry. They will be labeled. For, for instance, we have water supply right here. Let me go, with, well, it's not that clear, but you will have maybe uh, humi uh, humidity levels on here, maybe dry air, maybe clean air. You will have also nitrogen, if you're using argon and so on, you will have all the labels. Mm -hmm.